When ice melts, it changes physically. From ice, it turns into water. This is a physical change that is reversible. When we freeze the water, it turns back into ice. When a piece of wood burns, however, it turns to ash. This is not reversible and is known as a chemical change. I'm Annie E. Today we're exploring energy and chemical changes. We are going to focus on the differences between physical and chemical changes and talk about the reactivity of metals. It's important to note the differences between physical and chemical changes. Physical changes involve a change of physical property without the formation of a new substance. Generally, these changes are reversible and temporary. Chemical changes, however, are permanent and irreversible. Furthermore, chemical changes result in the formation of a new substance. Let's take a look at this question. Which of the following does not involve a chemical change? A. Reaction between sodium and water B. Crystallization of sodium chloride from a saturated solution C. Neutralization between sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide D. Rusting of clean iron nails to get the correct answer, you have to know which reaction gives you a new substance. So pay attention to those experiments that you conduct in school. Now, let's examine each option one by one. Option A. Sodium and water produce a new chemical compound. Option C. The term neutralization clearly states that there will be a reaction between the two compounds to form salt and water. Option D. Rust is obviously a new chemical compound. Thus, the correct answer is B, as after crystallization, only sodium chloride crystals are formed. It has changed physically, but it is the same chemical compound. Some metals are very reactive, some just reactive, and others are not reactive. This table shows metals in the order of reactivity. As you can see, potassium is the most reactive, while gold is the least reactive. Let's take a look at this experiment and answer the following questions. This experiment tests the reactivity of certain metals with oxygen. The table below shows the result of the experiment. Question A. What is the function of potassium manganite 7 in this experiment? Potassium manganite 7 releases oxygen when heated. Question B. State the hypothesis in this experiment. The hypothesis for this experiment is that different metals have different reactivity with oxygen. Question C. Name the manipulated and responding variable in this experiment. The manipulated variable is a type of metals since we are changing the types of metals. The responding variable is the reactivity of the metals. Question D. Based on the observation in the table, arrange the metals in the order of reactivity. Now, you need to know that the most reactive metal is the one that burns the brightest. So, the most reactive metal is S followed by Q, P and R. Question E. What is metal S? Write the word equation for the reaction between this metal and oxygen. Metal S is magnesium. The word equation is magnesium reacts with oxygen to produce magnesium oxide. I hope you have found this lesson useful. I'm Annie E and hope to see you again in the next episode of SPM Top Tutor Science.